Hey, everybody, we're back with the wonderful Anna Kendrick. Um, uh, Dating Game uh, was iconic. I used to watch it as a kid. I loved it with my sisters. Um, it's, it's got this very specific format. There's, there's, the, there's, the, there's the Bachelorette, and you've got the three bachelors, and they're hidden behind a wall, so she can't see them. And she's asking all these, you know, somewhat provocative and penetrating questions. And at the end of it, she picks one of them, and then they go on a date. Yeah, they like okay. win a prize date. It's kind yeah. of like a, a, the, a, a like an early version of Love Is Blind. Yes. Like, do you okay. watch Love Is Blind? I do not. Oh. And <laughs> do you watch Love Is Blind? I do, but I'm not caught up. So uh, you know, so no spoilers. Don't shout anything out. Wait, you're not caught up? There's a story. Yes. What? I don't know. It's like a season, and like, will they get married? Or oh, Stephen, it's so good. I, I mean, I mean, whatever. You don't have to watch it, but it's great. Yeah. But, it, but, it, but I think there's something. Yeah. It's interesting that it's almost like a version of the dating game that's been reinvented because there's that partition, and you can't see the other person. Why do you think that's so appealing to people? Well, like I, seeing people like you know, having to get in a relationship without knowing each other look like. I know. I, well, it feels like it is kind of this this perfect, awful metaphor for that that question of who's really behind the curtain, you know? Uh, even if you meet the person. Even if you meet the person, even if you know them for a long time, like who's behind the mask? Like how, are there parts of you that you're not showing me? And I think there's something like really, really intriguing about that physical barrier representing it kind of metaphorically. And I, you know, that's part of why the movie is so interesting. The story is so interesting because he's, on the other side of this wall, and you know, in hindsight, we know you know what he was, but the woman on the show doesn't. And you're, and you're in this, I know this is a like a really dating game. There's really was a serial killer. Does the person you play was that a real person? Yes, yes. And did I mean, she, was she okay? Uh, well, <laughs> she wasn't. Stephen. Oh. Premise of the film. <laughs> you got to buy the ticket to yeah. find out, is what you're saying. Yeah. There you go. My apologies. <laughs> What's your character's name? Cheryl. Will Cheryl survive? <laughs> Tune in to find out. Okay. Halloween. Halloween is next week. Yeah. And you you celebrate? I do, yeah. Do. Well, I, I might have to take it easy this year. Uh, last year, um, I, I, I went to this party with Brittany Snow, she's from the Pitch Perfect films, sure, sure. Um, and, and, and my good friend. And, um, and uh, we went to this party, and... Someone asked if I wanted to try microdosing mushrooms, and um, that's like a thing that that's people a, that is do. A, that is a thing. I have some it's friends like, who do that. Yeah. I, I do not partake, but I understand. Yeah, that and fun. and I was like, yeah, you know, I'm fun, and that's how you know you're fun when you have to say it out loud, and um, and so, so I. What was does like, that mean, by the way? Are you taking a pill? What are you doing? Well, it's like there are these little ch like chocolate bars, and then everybody takes a square, okay. and I thought, you know, just to be safe, I'll like even my microdose, I'll 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 you know, chop it in half yes. and I'll just take half. Yes. And that's the night that I learned that um, chocolate is not a great delivery system for mushrooms because sometimes it doesn't mix properly and sometimes there can be one little bite that doesn't have a microdose, it has a real macrodose. Um, so I'm at this party and it's the first time I've ever tried mushrooms and I am, uh, and I'm just like getting so high and I just start saying, oh no, Oh, I'm so high. Oh God, I'm so high. And I just can't stop saying it. Mm -hmm. And um, Brittany was like, oh my God. Oh my, like one of my best friends is just tripping balls at a party. Sure. And um, and I've like abandoned her to yeah. this trip on her own. Yeah. And Brittany, like a hero, just took a bunch more mushrooms. <laughs> To meet you. To meet me. To like come get on me. On the astral plane. Yes. Wow. And like, so then it's just the two of us are in the corner of this party staring at each other, grinning like the Joker while like streaming tears, but we felt great. And, um, and, we're, and I'm just going like, you're so beautiful. No, you're so beautiful. You're so talented. No, you're so talented. And she had these like um, little jewels on her face for the party and it was yes. blending into like the LA skyline. And I was like, you're a creative genius. And I told her she should remake the film Chinatown. Um, so those were my big revelations from, from mushrooms. Uh -huh. Learn from my uh -huh. mistakes, kids, Just don't qu do drugs. Qu quick question, is this legal? I... <laughs> um, I probably should have checked that before coming out here. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, everybody. You know what? This is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> You'll find out tomorrow morning. I do bits on talk shows. Thank you, Anna. Lovely to see you.
Woman of the Hour is available on Netflix. Anna Kendrick, everybody, star and director. We'll be right back with Maddie Matheson.